Would you guys believe it if I told you I filmed this whole thing with my microphone off? <sighs> Sucks. But again, it's makeup and I like makeup so I don't mind really doing this again. Uh, and I'm way more organized now since I already did it once but let's get to it, shall we? If you're a VIB Rouge member, you have access from November 5th all the way to 15th. Uh, if you are just a VIB member, then you have access from the 9th to 15th. And if you are a Beauty Insider, you have access from the 11th to 15th. Um, I make use of this sale every year to buy products and this year is no less. Uh, and another cool thing this time is that uh, you get 30% off the Sephora collection. So. This is the time if you're looking for any of the Sephora collection pieces as well. 30% is a nice sale and I know they do quality products. I myself have picked up their eyeliner because all my favorite eyeliners seem to be discontinued. So we'll see. I hope I find my love for that. First off, starting with face wash. If you have normal to combination skin or acne prone skin, oily skin, this. This as a set works really well so i use this morning and night uh it's a beautiful formula formula it's a beautiful face wash light but also removes any makeup that you have and um yeah this is really good it helps keep the acne in check and this is what i use pretty much all the time if i want more of a scrub then i use the tatcha rice wash this has again got a little bit of a grit to it, so it gives you that exfoliation, um, but at the same time it isn't too harsh. Uh, I use the deep cleanse one as well, that's for the days I really need a deeper cleanse, but this is the one I'd recommend for a more often use. And after that, I use the Belief Toner. I recommend this along with the Problem Solution moisturizer uh, these are really good if you have acne prone skin or if you have blemish prone skin they both together they are lightweight and they're really nice but if i want a little bit of a more deeper hydration then i use the same like you see i love belief i use the aqua moisturizing the aqua bomb actually i use the aqua bomb these are for the days where i feel i have a few dry patches and i want that extra hydration to my skin and this one really does that Next up, let's move. Actually, before I move on, I wanted to highly, highly recommend two other things. If you have dark spots, if you have blemishes, if you want your skin to get uh, any discoloration to get better, recommend this 100%. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Pro Strength Niacinamide Discoloration Treatment. Oh my God. This works like a charm. It isn't, um, it doesn't sting you or anything. Uh, and I mean, for the amount of way it said it's extra strength and tone correcting, I thought it might sting a bit, but no, this is really good. Uh, I kind of use that n along with the ordinary niacinamide, 10% plus zinc, 1%. The cheaper option, this is 80 bucks. So it pains me to use this a lot. So I use it in conjunction with this. I don't know if it's them together or how that is but i have started seeing a lot of reduction in my dark spots and try to get a sample if you can because i know this is pricey but i have really loved to use it i use it only once not two times like it asks you to and once works enough next let's move on to sunscreens my absolute favorite brand is supergroup so i have three sunscreens from supergroup wait i have different uses for them but you don't have to buy all three i will recommend based on your usage you could pick it up sorry my hair keeps falling on my face i just wanted to get this video out quick so i didn't really do anything with it so excuse my constant touching of my hair so this is like my everyday sunscreen i use this when i need to go to the gym i need to run errands i just need to get up in the morning apply this and i'm good to go this is cheaper as well it's 19 dollars beautiful you get the bigger bottles as well it's totally i would highly recommend this the glow sunscreen the second most recommended one is this and this one 
is well underneath makeup you wear this and on top of that you wear any kind of primer you still have that glow from within look without having to invest in any of the other glowy products this is like a two-in-one this is SPF 40 amazing amazing um this this is okay I know a lot of people like it I didn't like it so much this is the unscreen, unseen sunscreen SPF 40 this one uh, has that matte silicone consistency every time I apply it I feel like I'm wearing some kind of a mask which is why I don't like the feeling but this actually works like you don't have to wear a primer when you're wearing this so for that reason this really works I'll finish this up I won't be repurchasing so if you had to do one I would do this if you are looking for something under makeup I would do this oh and another one I wanted to just throw out there if you like bougie stuff is this Tatcha one this one feels like skincare, which is why I recommend this. I'm almost out of it. I've gone through several bottles. So the day I want just like a skincare kind of a sunscreen, but I'm at home, I'm not going to go anywhere, but I still want sunscreen or even, even to go outside. I mean, not to be fair, I do wear it even when I go out. This has only SPF 35, so you may need to reapply. But this is like since sunscreen with skincare. So recommend this too. Next, let's do primers. Sorry, this is dirty. The Tarte Smoothing Primer. Gone through bottles of these. Amazing product. You just need very little. Rub it, apply it on your poor problem areas, and amazing. Then I have this, an oldie but a goodie. I switch up my primers. These are my but these are my most used primers. I switch it up. OG really good still works like a charm and uh, I like the color on this this has a nice light um, skin finish to it like, I don't know if you can see that one so yeah it has a skin finish to it so it's really good if you want to spend on something more then these are my two highly recommended products uh, I got both in the mini size to try them on because they were expensive them so I'm buying them both um, this is what I started with so the days I wear the glow sunscreen uh, I I feel like I have that moisturizer underneath I don't want any more liquid stuff on my face I use this very little rub it between my fingers and apply on my pores amazing but the days where I feel I have a little bit of dryness and I want some moisturizing primer that's when I use this one again these two are pricey so uh, if you could only use one I would suggest the Tarte one but if you wanted if you have dry skin and you had to buy only one I would suggest this one highly recommend this one next up let's move to foundation slash tinted moisturizers my absolute favorite tinted moisturizer has to be the nars um, pure radiant tinted moisturizer this has broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen i still wear sunscreen but it's nice to have that added effect this although it's a tinted moisturizer it gives you good coverage you just need a little bit use your fingers apply it over your skin and you're good to go you don't need anything more to it so highly recommend this one and foundations i have few ride or die foundations so foundations these are my three holy grail foundations i have i like a light to medium coverage i don't use heavy foundations so which is why this is my absolute favorite like the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Foundation. I use it in the shade light medium 14. Amazing, amazing. It gives the coverage that I need. It gives me a glow from within look. And at the same time, it is, um, it doesn't have fragrance. So I, I don't know, it's beautiful foundation. But if you're looking for something a little bit more coverage, but long wearing as well, then I would suggest this, the Lancome tint idol ultra wear foundation this has sunscreen as well but spf just 15 this is transfer resistant so under a mask if you're looking for anywhere going for a long day out but at the same time you got to keep your mask on or take it on and off 
this one works like a charm for the days i like a glam look i use the dior backstage foundation again lightweight good coverage works like a charm so i really love this one as well but if i had to recommend one it would be this tinted moisturizer and this pat mcgrath foundation concealer i have only one recommendation that's the Giorgio Armani Power Fabric one. Beautiful consistency. Gives good coverage. Amazing coverage, in fact. And it doesn't crease for me. It doesn't separate. It doesn't move around. It doesn't feel too thick at the same time. I know the Tarte Shape Tape is a favorite, but that's super thick for me. This, I will, I will keep purchasing this. I actually ordered another one. I don't know how much I have left because I've been using this over and over and over and over again. Uh, I've, I have tried so many concealers, Kosas, Estee Lauder, Tarte, Huda Beauty. I mean, so many, you name it, I've tried it, but I keep going back to this. This and the NARS um, Creamy Concealer, which I ran out of, so I don't have it to show you guys. Uh, I have repurchased that. That one is a beautiful concealer as well, but if I had to just pick one, it would be this one. Before I move on, I wanted to show you just one color corrector that I have. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, um, I think it's a corrector, that's all it is. This is in the shade medium. Um, again, if you have under eye dark circles, you could use this and this really helps in giving that uh, taking away that darkness and on top of that if you apply your concealer you can really see a difference uh, I didn't use it so much in the beginning but now I'm hooked and I always use it under my concealer let's move on to powders if you want a finishing powder or a setting powder two in one has to be this one I give it. has to be this one like you can see I've hit pan on this and oh my god this is a beautiful powder it's a little bit pricey but yeah it's a beautiful powder it's like a one-stop shop for finishing and setting together but if you're looking for a baking powder that would have to be Huda Beauty I know a lot of people are put off by the smell so you can see I've used so much of this but I still have like three-fourths of it left such a finely milled powder it is so soft I don't mind the smell so I kind of like I enjoy it but I know a lot of people can be put off by the smell I love this I really love this this is what I use consistently to set my face all over and I don't know I will never stop repurchasing this that's how much I love this powder and for the days I want only a powder foundation but nothing no liquid foundation and I want to be out of the door fast it would have to be this Jouer, Jouer uh, soft focus hydrate and set powder you can see I've hit pan on this major pan on this and I use this a lot a lot uh, for the days I do my foundation this really works for that it gives you that coverage that's the best part about it this is a super high coverage uh, powder which is also why I wouldn't try to top off my foundation with this then I feel like I might look cakey just for if you only want like a powder foundation this and the makeup forever one I recommend as well but this is one I reach for the most so I recommend this one let's move on to bronzers enough said only one my ride or die till the end forever it will be this Gucci bronzer I have used this so much I'm sure there is a dent in this I use mine in the shade 03 medium oh my god my perfect shade I have struggled with bronzers and this is my perfect shade without it becoming too much on me it blends like a charm it has a scent but I don't mind scents like I said but again it's a beautiful bronzer totally worth the price it's pricey 63 I believe but totally worth the price blushes let's do blushes 
I know about this. This is the Patrick Da brush, blush, brush, blush. I have two shades. She's so LA and what's the other one? She's that girl. I know they have numerous other shades, but these are the ones I have been really using, and these are the only two shades I own. The part about this formula is that you use the um the powder first and then you use the cream on top it sounded weird to me at the beginning but when i used it i really figured out what the hype was about it gives that cream finish but it's a powder it's it's hard to explain but it's a beautiful way in which he's crafted this powder and it actually works when you set use this powder first and then you put the cream on top it gives a sheen uh and yeah highly recommend i've ordered the blush palette because i love his blush formula so much this and mac blushes are my favorite since mac isn't sold at sephora i'm gonna recommend this i i don't know yeah these this is probably pachita's probably the brand i really recommend and i'm waiting for the new blush palette highlighters Dior does some of the best highlighters. Um, I'm the kind of person who likes a subtle glow. I don't like the heavy bam in your face. I can see you from a mile away highlighter. That to me screams too much makeup. Sorry if you like that. It's just for me, I don't like that. This one is good. This one you swirl around the pan. You can use every one of the color. Like you can you are darker skinned you can use this one if you're lighter skinned you can swirl around or you can just use these two so this works universally the way i like it is i use this like a blush topper uh, or a slightly above my blush but blended in if you know what i'm trying to say gives a beautiful effect i also have the other nude luminizer that's what it's called i really love those but this i felt is a universal palette so i would recommend this one and i also like the um laura mercier highlighting 01 that's again that beautiful glow from within but not a highlighter look kind of a uh, highlighter love that one as well next setting spray found yeah charlotte tilbury has to be charlotte tilbury oh my god I have been like a day out in the city completely and I was at a restaurant. I went to the uh, restroom in the restaurant and this girl was like, how does your mask not have any makeup on it? I said, it's this one. It's this one. So that's how much I recommend this. I always set my face with powder. So for me, um, the setting spray was a must like for it to lock everything in place. And this one really does that so please go try it i know they have a 20 dollar to me set so if you want to try that would be a deal highly recommend this one eyeshadow palettes if you are a beginner you want just one palette but at the same time uh, you want the glam look this one the natasha denona mini nude palette 25 dollars only but the colors pack a punch so you can see how much I've used it. They all have major dips in them. Even like if I'm if I'm in a rush and I need to run out of the door, this is the one I reach for. I have used this on numerous occasions in Vegas and in and around town here. Oh my god, I cannot recommend this enough. You have to buy this if you are looking for one small eyeshadow palette, but it does the glam look. This one. Another one if you want looking for a slightly bigger palette but you still want the neutral warm shades, it would be this one. This is the Soft Glam palette, oldie but a goodie, beautiful warm neutral shades, suits almost everybody, highly recommend this one as well. But if you are a makeup junkie like me or an eyeshadow junkie like me and you love eyeshadows, the one formula which will never fail you has to be Natasha Denona. So, yeah, I have almost all her palettes. 
amazing formula you don't need all this you definitely don't but if you like to play around with eye makeup you have to get this this is beautiful but among this if you're looking for neutrals no colors but at the same time want to get full use out of the palettes i have two palettes that i would recommend one is the biba palette if you're a warm neutrals kind of a person amazing color story so many beautiful colors best formula but if you want a cooler toned palette i would say the glam palette this again smoky eye evening out any kind of glam it it's true to its name it's a glam palette and i really love this i want to pick up the bronze one as well because i'm a warm uh, colors kind of a person but i have so many of these i have the sunset i have the gold so i don't really need it but i don't know you know that itch to get it is hard I'm resisting i am resisting we will see but i did pick up the new palette that she's come up with the face and the eyeshadow palette i picked it up in the dark shade can't wait to receive it let's see how that goes um love her formula uh, another one i really recommend in terms of formula would be too faced the tin palettes especially beautiful formula extremely well pigmented beautiful shimmers any kind of looks you can make i highly recommend it so please if you are looking for something on a lesser budget but you like those color stories then please go in for Too Faced uh, at the end of the video I'll try to show you a little snippet of my eyeshadow palette collection I have a few which I'm not proud of but I still love them all equally I did delve into Pat McGrath as well but I found it a little bit too um, advanced for my use I couldn't figure out how to use the um, what are those called the special shades um, I bought them for the special shades but then I didn't use them so I've kind of decluttered or given away some of my uh, eyeshadow palettes uh, but I know a lot of people like it but I couldn't get around to using that much but most of the other brands I really like and but I Natasha Denona is my ride or die. Lipsticks. Two of my absolute favorite brands for lipsticks, three actually one is MAC. I know USA doesn't sell MAC uh, in Sephora so the other two has to be YSL and Charlotte Tilbury I mean I have so many like I have so so many I'm trying to get them all into my hands like I have so many different shades and I'm still picking up more shades beautiful formula Charlotte Tilbury I mean I don't have to say much like I have the Pillow Talk 2, Pillow Talk 3, the regular Pillow Talk. I mean, all of them. Nice colors. Uh, but if I have to recommend one color for my skin tone, it would be the Pillow Talk 3 Intense. It's a lovely brown color. Um, give you a light swatch. Like you can see. No, hang on. beautiful brown color for my skin love the formula but if you're looking for something that leans to a more matte or a more long-lasting wear it has to be these love YSL lip stains uh, the vinyl finish the satin finish the matte finish you name it you get it all especially for my kind of a skin tone which is a brown skin tone they have the most beautiful colors for me uh, they have nudes as well but they have more of the reds and the berries and the browns i love them so two brands if, if there were only two brands that i could own it would have to be charlotte tilbury and uh, ysl so highly recommend these then let's do makeup removers three of my most used ones the clinic take the day off the oldie the one that started it all i have gone through so many of these i'm out of this again uh love it i just don't love the oil smell of it but this is a very 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 effective one in removing makeup you need the teeniest bit it takes it all off i will be repurchasing this because i still love this for the price point but if i had to pick one among all these three the other one is the um 
belief aqua bomb since i love the belief line so much i thought i'd try this out this is beautiful this is great but nothing out of the park uh it does remove makeup it smells really nice it smells like the rest of the belief line so i really love it for that fact but this the green clean one it's clean does a beautiful job again smells amazing uh, removing makeup is something I, I highly 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 rely on I don't like sleeping with makeup at all even if I come back from a party around 2 or 3 a.m. doesn't matter when I'll still remove my makeup so I would highly recommend this one they have a nice three cutie set I have so much of these two left so I won't be picking up a new one um, even the clinic that's the reason why I don't know if I'll be picking up because I want to get through these I don't want to be keeping backups unnecessarily um, so yeah recommend this highly let's move to hair care products moving on to hair care uh, if you just wanted one brand that I would recommend it has to be Briogeo I've gone through numerous of their uh, don't despair line shampoo and conditioner I ran out of it so I don't have it to show you guys uh, but that is really good I'm using living proof now I just got that because they had these huge jars on a sale but I think I like the Briogeo line better amazing amazing and uh, hydrates your hair really well including the mask i'm going to be picking that up as well because i ran out of it too so the mask and the don't despair line shampoo and conditioner are amazing and it's totally worth the price but if you have i don't think this really needs a recommendation people rave about it i do too uh, this is my second or third bottle this is the number three uh, olaplex hair perfecting this is like a mask you just apply it uh, after you shampoo and condition uh, and then you rinse it off keeping it for however long you need that hydration factor love it works beautifully even the bonding oil is really good I mean all of olaplex line is something I highly recommend you can use it uh, something I recently started getting to was the Kerstas line oh my god <laughs> my hair um after i colored it is extremely dry extremely dry i mean i i did have dry hair before but it not not as much as when you color your hair uh, and the salon lady recommended this this is the Kerstas um resistance line this is the cement thermique this is like a leave-in um hydrating balm i wash my hair while it's I towel dry my hair I apply this and I comb through my hair and this I know this really works this is really good so I've, I've uh, ordered the mask in the sale or the resistance line mask excited to try it I do want to try the shampoo and conditioner as well but I'm like Ugh, how much money are you gonna spend you know you're already spending so much money so I highly 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 recommend this one another one I really recommend as a last step in your hair care routine if you have thick voluminous hair like mine but at the same time it gets dry and frizzy it has to be the moroccan oil argan moroccan oil treatment just a small pump of this run through my entire hair it tames my frizz uh, it makes my hair so much more soft shiny and manageable so i i really invest in hair care products because my hair is not manageable uh, it is very thick it may not seem so but it is really thick it takes me a while to dry it takes me a while to even you know style it even if i have to curl it it takes a while so i really invest in hair care products and these are my absolute favorite uh and i also love the oribe line mm, the styling uh heat styling sheet i use this as well if i'm going to do any kind of heat styling and this is nice um I wouldn't necessarily say you need this any kind of heat protection would do but i really like this so i thought i'd recommend this if any of you like the Oribe line brow pencil the anastasia brow is everybody recommends this and so do i i use mine in the shade ebony it's it's beautiful one thing i forgot i'm indian and one thing indians really love is their coal or eye gel liner this is the one I really love, but please tell me they're not discontinuing this. They do not have this in the stores. They do not have this in, uh, uh, even online. This is the Milk Makeup Liner in Boss. Oh my God, this, I've been through so many tubes of these, but I don't find this anymore. 
so I've ordered a couple of them to see which one is good um, I've ordered the Urban Decay one I've ordered the um, this and the Marc Jacobs one the both of them I really liked and both of them are discontinued what is happening it's it's crazy so I'm, I'm on the hunt I've even ordered the Sephora line one so we will see how that works I have only one recommendation for mascara because I see I feel like mascara works for anybody uh, it's the NARS Climax mascara this one is really good uh, it gives that nice volume and uh, I like the benefit roller one for the wand for my lower because it's a thin wand but I like this for my upper eyelash because it gives that volume the last I have a couple of perfume recommendations but then uh, perfume is a very personal thing so I'm not really gonna recommend that to you but if you guys love perfumes Sephora VIP sale is the time to get it um, so please go ahead and buy all the perfumes that you need oh and last but not least I also want to recommend the Shiseido cotton pads uh, I don't use too much cotton pads but when I do that's the one I go for for my skin because it's soft beautiful that's it guys so if you liked my recommendations please subscribe and let me know I will do I will film uh, what I picked up as well I have a couple of boxes coming in so once that's all come together I will film a what I picked up as well all right thank you so much for watching you have a good day bye bye hey guys as I promised a sneak peek into my ridiculously big eyeshadow collection my Anastasia palettes, my Too Faced palettes, some miscellaneous ones, my Huda Beauty and Urban Decay ones. Again, more stuff behind. Urban Decay. This is my Huda Tiny ones. My, my Huda Tiny ones. My Natasha Denona's. Last of the palettes that I have left.